I've been getting a lot of requests in for people asking me to test a GTX 780 and test to see if older drivers actually give performance benefits, which would mean Nvidia are doing a gimp job with their latest drivers. Though today we're gonna be testing not only that, we're gonna be thrown in another rumor that I've been hearing, and that is that a 7970 will actually perform similar to a GTX 780 nowadays. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a video on the GTX 780, and I'm testing out two different driver sets here. The newest drivers being 364.72, I believe, and then the older drivers, which I downloaded from an independent site, were the 340.52 drivers from actually a couple of years ago. So what I'm aiming at with this video is I'm seeing to test whether the older drivers will actually give a performance boost in not only some of those older titles that I've tested in the past, but also some of the newer titles to this day. Now moving on straight into the benchmarks, I really couldn't find any smoking guns here to say that Nvidia have been nerfing the performance of the GTX 780 with driver updates. Though one thing that will become quickly apparent from seeing these benchmarks is that the GTX 970, especially when I first reviewed it like a year and a half ago, has received a lot of uh, performance gains through driver updates. Now one game that I will pay particular attention to is Dark Souls 3, which is a recently released title. And we see here that the old school drivers for the GTX 780 really made no difference with the new school drivers. And what this means essentially is that Nvidia just aren't really focusing on updating the drivers for the old school Kepler architecture anymore, which is quite a shame when you think about it, considering how much people paid for those graphics cards only just a couple of years ago to realize that it's no longer receiving any driver updates for, to make games perform better. Maxwell, on the other hand, that's been receiving a lot of love over the last couple of years since it's Nvidia's latest and greatest architecture. And lastly, I will touch on the 7970 as well. That was a good 20% below the GTX 780. However, in Just Cause 3, it was actually coming pretty close to scoring in the same league, which actually was quite impressive. It does mean that AMD is giving the 7970 still some pretty good driver updates. So there we have it, the GTX 780, although it hasn't been getting gimped, it also hasn't been getting any love at all. So which kind of disappoints me considering how much people were paying for these graphics cards only a couple of years ago. I mean, I managed to get mine for 130 bucks, but that's besides the point. Though that's generally how the industry works. I came into this being a realist, knowing that Nvidia is a publicly listed company and they needed to make profit. So it's no surprise. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you paid good money for a GTX 780, unfortunately, you're just another victim of corporatism. So anyway, guys, that's about it for me today. If you have any questions or comments about the GTX 780, then be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Now, there was that fiasco with Witcher 3 and having severely gimped performance on the Kepler architecture. And Nvidia did fix that, I believe, with a driver update, although it took them a little bit of time. So hopefully if we all stay in the community and we all stay wired in and we communicate to one another, then it'll hopefully stop Nvidia from pulling shady shenanigans like that again. Though in the meantime, the GTX 780 still is a pretty good performing card. It's just not as good as a GTX 970, which is kind of a shame since it should be, in my opinion. Anyway, that's all from me, guys. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also, the 7970 still is a grade below the 780, in my opinion, and this was actually a pretty damn aggressively overclocked card. I got this to 1.2 gigahertz. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out for now. Bye. Now getting on straight into the benchmarks, we could quite simply see that there was no smoking gun here, except the one in my pants.